Time to answer your question, where do I get data for my project? The answer is Google. So if you search Google data, open data set, you will see. And one of the sites you will see is cargo.com. So cargo.com slash data set. Right here, you see, we have thousands of data sets. You might even want to be specific, go for classification because as a beginner, you might want to start from there. Over 2000 records, data. And you can see further dimension distance, maybe between 5 MB to 10 MB and say CSV. I mean, I take Gibson, I take anyone. I just apply this. You see a lot of data here. I might be interested in this guy YouTube data, just open it up, uh, online transaction, so that I can learn more about them. Oh, I mean, interesting. See the Twitter <laughs> 13 days ago that just you know been uploaded. A lot of use cases, e-commerce data. You can also see that here, right? And right, you can open them up. Pay attention to the license when you come to the data. Uh, metadata you see if it's public or not and this goes a long way so that you have license to use them and explore the data itself feel free you know feel free to explore the data itself you can see different data you have you have to merge together and understand youtube metrics that will meaning you have to go and read about it online shopping transaction look at the data see the instruction about it i mean already this is data and e-commerce this is just three this is just random exploration and we already have data so why the question where do i get data all right so i want to give you this task now go ahead come right here search for data try to copy the url to some of these things and at least 10 or 20 just keep it somewhere for yourself you know later you can go back to them to look into it i don't want you to close it i want you to capture it and that is your assignment do it now As you continue your quest for sample data for your project, you will also come across UCI Machine Learning Repository. I've dropped the link in the tweet and in the video description section. Here you can also explore a lot of use cases. For example, you can see the most popular data set since 2007 and the newest data set. Just by going through this, there is a lot of data samples that I, I can click on. I can see bank marketing. You may want to work on something like that. Um, I see car evaluation, it could be something you want to work on and even the recent data you can go around, you know, check and try to look at one or two of that. Uh, right here I can see the metadata around this is for class, associated class, task is classification, uh, number of attributes is 17, this is the date has been there, you know, number of instances. Uh, these are the sample data that comes, you know, the columns that come alongside with that data. And these are the relevant papers that you can read to understand more about the industry, the KPIs and the rest. That is fantastic. You know, why you say you don't have data and you have the folder where you can download the data? You know, we have different type of uh, four data sets and that is the description here. All are inside this folder, which you can download. And coming back here, uh, this is another one for car evaluation. You also have it here too. These are the details of this data. And the most appropriate thing is also a classification algorithm, motivated data set, and it's categorical. You see, this is also another site. All I want you to do here as your task is explore this site, view all data set, you know, check everything, and try to copy 10 links to data set of your interest and add it to the existing list that you currently have. Okay, thank you. Still on the journey to answer the question, where can I get data? I mean, this is another one, openml.org slash home. I like the animation here. Okay, so you just navigate through this raffle button, you see data set. I'm going to click on data set 21,000, I mean, oh, actually 3,480. Right here, you can take your time to sort and go through this a lot. Um, for example, this data now is the, this data set classified people uh, described by a set of attributes as good or bad credit risk. These are sample data I can do. I can make you fit in to work in the fintech. You know, um, right here I've clicked on it. You can see you still have to go back to UCI. You see attributed to UCI, which is the same place that we went to before now. Uh, but of course, if this is the site you see, you can work on it. This is the 21 features. See the properties, see the different tax that has been done on this, and you can download this data and save it you know uh, so take your time 
I won't be going through this. You can see the CSV download. Is it PDF? Even JSON. You know, we're still going to get to that point where you really want to connect to data coming as JSON and SML and not the regular CSV or structured database. Yeah. But right here, take your time as well. Go through this, you know, environment, explore the data. You will see that actually there are data out there. This will be the last sample data that I'm going to show you, but this is to prove to you that data are out there. But you know, we are gathering data later, we start featuring and know how to work with them. If you go to this web at, uh, website, which I also found on Google, you will come across this blog that sort of consolidated a lot of these data sets and add some context to it. So, searching through this, you see more customer data sets. I'm very sure this data is coming from Kagu, but it sort of tell you the data science project idea. Do you see that? You know, you move on to other one, Irish data set, people say it's popular, but if you don't know where it is, this will link you back to it. Um, also, this is email classification data. So, Parkinson data set, this could be helpful, um, you see, with even project idea, you know, idea around this. So, you can also click on this. Tata, oh, this is popular, Kagu data set, Titanic data set, Uber pickups, data data, and 70 plus, wow. Which is for machine learning now, our project ideas. Okay, if I go back here, you see this one is actually coming from Kagu, and the other one is coming from UCI. Do you see everything is fall back to Kagu, UCI, and some other site? The reality is here, it is not just the data, it is how do you work with this data? How do you create a business use case? How do you know the kind of business use case you create? How do you know the kind of project that is fit for those data? This is the missing gap. And we're going to tie all this thing together and everything in between in this module. So I hope I've been able to at least answer this question, where can I get data to work on for my personal project? So not only for a data scientist, even data analyst, you might not be predicting with this data, but you can run analysis on them, right? So your task is to go through this, almost every, save this URL because that's the primary URL and try to find additional use case that you are interested in but have not been you've not been able to capture it for example you might want to take this now you know credit card fraud detection data set you know just gather them at least 10 as well add it to what we have what that means is you have 40 different data sources we're going to review them later bye for now